I'd seen no one could write into contract of business, and wouldn't you know, item A is adopt a resolution mm -hmm. accepting a loan of $50,000 from the nonprofit Nutrition Site Council of San Bruno, appropriating $79,000 from the Equipment Reserve Fund, and authorizing the city manager to execute a purchase contract with El Dorado Bus Sales in the amount of $129,000 for the purchase of a new senior center bus and to get rid of the old raunchy bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Staff favorite. report, please. I haven't voted yet. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council Members. The, as Randy, before we start, I'm just curious as to how we were able to arrange tonight the report of the senior advisory board then that goes right into this item with the couple plugs. That was that was well strategized. <laughs> The orchestration is doing wonderful tonight. Yes, yeah. it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, as was pointed out, that the senior center does utilize a 1997 20 passenger bus five days a week. Averages approximately 15 seniors to and from the center. It's also used for field trips and has been used by the city for um, certain occasions, shuttle service for town hall meetings, trips to San Francisco and other peninsula destinations. The item before you tonight is a twofold staff recommendation. One, to accept a donation, a donated loan from the Senior Nutrition Site Council, and two, to authorize the city manager to execute a purchase agreement for a new bus. Uh, as it was mentioned, the bus is now over 13 years old. It has over 142,000 miles on it. It's subject to frequent breakdowns, causing a considerable amount of time um, in the repair shop and higher maintenance costs. In addition, the new emissions re regulations um, dictate that if we continue to use the bus beyond this December, we will need to retrofit it at a cost of about $16,000. The bus was scheduled to be replaced in 2007-8 with the funds from the equipment reserve. But when it came to looking at the bus, a, a new type of bus was desired um, and was more than the available funding. The bus that is being recommended, um, a bus of that, same make and type has been brought up here to the senior center on a couple of occasions within the past year. The seniors had a, had a chance to go through it, to walk um, through it, the drivers to talk to the manufacturer about it. Um, it is being recommended by both staff and the senior advisory board. It holds 23 passengers, slightly more than the current bus with the, especially in the configuration when you get the wheelchairs in place. It has more safety features and uses a wheelchair ramp rather than a lift. So it lowers a little bit, the lift comes all the way down to the sidewalk. You can wheel onto it, you can walk onto it if you wish. It makes it easier for passengers, it reduces the maintenance cost, and it also eliminates the need for the mandatory state inspections. Um, although the lower, the bus with the lower floor does not come in the hybrid model that the city council prefers, um, it does meet the air quality requirements by using a much cleaner type of diesel engine. To supplement the available funds, um, staff applied for and did receive a grant in October of 2009. Uh, the grant was for $100,000 from the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. It was their lifeline transportation program. It's a state program, state bonds. It was voter approved, but the bonds are still unsold. Um, what's been explained to us is that the state because of its financial problems, feels as though this was not the right time to do the bond sales. Um, they may be sold by the end of this year, possibly early next year. Either way, it would be difficult for us to wait until that sale happens because then by the time we purchase the bus, we would have to retrofit the existing bus at the $16,000 cost. Um, the Senior Nutrition Site Council, it's a nonprofit corporation established to support the programs here at the Senior Center has offered to loan the city $50,000 at a 0% interest rate to assist with the purchasing of the new bus. The loan would not need to be repaid until the grant funds were delivered to the city, regardless of how long that may be. And if the city never received the grant funds, um, the loan would not need to be repaid. Adding this amount to the funds that are available in the general reserve will give the city the resources to purchase the new bus. The bus is sold locally by El Dorado Bus Sales, and it has been through a competitive bid process by the state of California. It's on the state's contract list. The city is not required to conduct a separate bidding process and can award the bid at the state price of $129,000, including tax and delivery. 
Um, when the city receives the funds um, from the lifetime transportation grant funds, as I said, as they were voter approved, $50,000 will go towards the Senior Nutrition Site Council to repay the loan. $50,000 would go back to the equipment reserve. And I would be happy to answer any questions council may have. Thank you. Any questions of staff? To the, to the chair. Secretary <coughs> Barra. Uh, very, very generous uh, offer and right in the nick of time. But what my concern would be, and hopefully it's been discussed, I'm sure it has, does the $50,000 loan put the Nutrition Council into any near future risk financially? It has been discussed, and it does not put the, uh, them into any risk at this at all. To the chair, uh, very quickly, I was also just going to uh, thank the Nutrition Site Council for stepping forward, um, as well as the other uh, groups, councils that have done that in the past. Things in this room, chairs, tables, other things in this room alone have been contributed for uh, at various times in order so that the center can continue to thrive and as when it was established back uh, some time ago now that uh, it has been run by volunteers primarily uh, and with a lot of love and care and uh, it shows by the building that we sit in today. So thank you for coming forward and trying to contribute once again toward improving life for everybody here in San Bruno. Good. Any other questions of staff? Action. I'll introduce the resolution. Councilmember O'Connell. Aye. Councilmember Medina. Aye. Councilmember Ibarra. Aye. Vice Mayor Salazar. Aye. Mayor Ruin. Aye. Thank you. The new bus is on the way. <laughs> there you go.